Yes, you join us at one of the most iconic glaciers in the world, the famous Mer de Glace, the Sea of Ice. And it is a remarkable sight, but it's also a very visible demonstration of the effects of climate change because this glacier, like glaciers around the world, is losing ice at a remarkable rate. And here you can see it very clearly. If we pan across to that ridge line over there, that point was the top of this glacier 200 years ago. So you get a very good idea of the volume of ice that has disappeared in that time. Now, it's important to note that some of that recession is to be expected, but it is the rate of change over the last 15 or 20 years that's alarming glaciologists. The winter season is just about to get into full swing. Chalets are ready for the Christmas rush. For now, just a handful of skiers make the most of the wide open pistes. But all around, things are changing because of global warming. To see the evidence, you only have to take the tourist train up the mountain on the old Cog Railway that's been operating since 1908. And there lies the Mer de Glace, one of the longest glaciers in the Alps. Glaciologist Luc Moreau has been studying these mountains for years. Luc took this time-lapse film of the glacier and you can see just what a force it is. Thousands of years of compacted ice flowing down the mountain. But it's losing volume every year. Le glacier rend visible l'invisible. The glacier makes the invisible visible. We're talking about temperature, energy, greenhouse gases. What we're seeing here is the result of all these things. The climate is unfavorable for glaciers. The glaciers are diminishing and the landscape is changing. We have to protect it for ourselves. Here's a photograph taken in 1910 showing the train station with the glacier just below. Spin on exactly 100 years and see the difference. It's incredibly apparent the sheer volume of ice that's just disappeared. This level was the top of the glacier back in 1820. And right now, it's several hundred meters down there. We can see the glacier. I meet Pascal Frero, who's been a mountain guide here for 35 years. He points out the front of a glacier now sitting on top of the ridge when 15 years ago, it reached all the way down to the trees. He says global warming is a problem and a danger. As the snow is uh, stay a little bit more unstable, we have a little bit more risk with avalanche. And, uh, and for to ski on the glacier is very dangerous because it's too open with a crevasse. The changing conditions threaten not only life and limb, but also the economic prosperity of a region that relies on tourism. The Mont Blanc Massif is a stunning show of nature, but one that's slowly disappearing before our eyes. As the seasons come and go, you have to wonder just how this mountainous world may look in a hundred years' time. It's believed that the Alpine region could lose most of its glaciers by the end of the century. In fact, it's already lost half its glacial ice, and 20% of that since the 1980s. It's even reported that Mont Blanc itself has lost 1.3 metres in height. Statistics like that must inspire and motivate those negotiators up in Paris.